This episode of the New Hampshire Business Show is sponsored by Everlasting Capital. If you're a small business and you need money and a bank won't give it to you, Everlasting Capital is here to help. In as quickly as a couple of days, you can have the funding your business needs for new equipment or anything else you could need the capital for. So submit your application today and see how they can help you out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana, and today we are here with Will Murphy of Everlasting Capital. What's going on? How's it going? Good you know, man. Good Will's making it work over here in his basement, <laughs> and I'm over at the Cowork London area, uh, you know, just doing our thing. So uh, let's get started. For those who didn't see the last interview we did together, give them a quick rundown on who you are and uh, what is Everlasting Capital. Yeah, so appreciate you bringing me on to the show uh, during these times. Obviously, I am in my basement, and it's kind of fitting because that's where we started. We started in a basement in 2012. So kind of going back to the roots of, you know, <laughs> where we started uh, is is kind of soothing at this point with the shit that's going around right now in, uh, in the world. But what we do right now, we're helping small business owners kind of bridge that gap of this disaster. Um, and, you know, what we've always done is help business owners bridge that gap. But business owners right now need us more than ever for, you know, short term bridge capital, um, we're doing SBA disaster assistance. So we're trying to help these business owners um, go through these forms and get packages together to be able to get the best opportunity to get approved the most efficient way. Because let's face it, the SBA is a long process. It can be tedious. It's very difficult. But if you have someone that knows what they're doing, like us to kind of guide you through that process, we are here to help. Um, and also we're helping people get equipment financing, which has not dried up whatsoever. It's, it's still needed. Um, you know, the essential businesses, if you will, are still um, working um, in most parts of the nation. I mean, what, California, New York, Washington State, like that, they're shut down a little bit, but there's still essential workers that need to deliver these products, that need to be open to deliver food, that need to be open to deliver, you know, to let you wash your clothes. Like there's certain companies right now that are helping out and that's what we're catering to right now so we're funding america pretty much is what we're 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 in it to do that's a short uh short version of what we do right now awesome so remember the last time we spoke um i think you had mentioned equipment brokering but it hadn't come out yet so do you want to go over that section of everything yeah so equipment broker school um is a great platform to kind of bridge the gap, if you will, from a novice and newbie getting into the industry to become an expert in the field in, you know, 10 to 14 days. Um, obviously, it, it's all about how you take in the information, but we put a platform out there as a virtual learning, uh, training platform that allows you to go from A all the way to Z from, you know, learning about the industry, the history, um, you know, what type of funding we do in the industry, all the way up to submitting a deal, finding lenders, um, and getting a deal across the board and get commissions in your pocket. So we've launched that, it's been going around since August of last year, but uh, you know, doing very well, we've got about 120 people on the platform right now. Um, you're, you're actually on the platform, you yep. uh, um, kind of dove in on that, and you know, it's, it's, it's something that you know, has helped a lot of people, um, but again, it's all about how um, you know, you take in that information and, and you go all in, um, you know, times where, you know, a lot of people start this, have different businesses, but right now is the, the biggest time we talked about it before we got on this to get ahead of the game, right? You're sitting home right now. You got nothing to do it, instead of watching Netflix and, and, and chilling, they call it well, you got to yeah. educate yourself to be able to put yourself in a position that when this does end and it's going to end, I mean, let's face it, it's not going to be forever. When it does end, you're in a position to go from where you are now and, and take off really quickly. So Equipment yeah. Broker School is kind of bridging that gap right now also. Okay, pretty cool. And I want to talk a little bit about um, equipment brokering because we kind of mentioned a little bit, but there's still companies that need equipment to run stuff. So do you want to talk about a little bit about the type of stuff you guys fund, what it looks like to get into the program, that thing? Yeah, so we fund anything that doesn't shoot, fly, or float. So, you know, no guns, no planes, no boats, everything else. If there's a, a use for it in your business, meaning it's business essential, like we can't 
finance a bouncy house for a landscaping company. So it's got to it's got to work within your your business, but construction equipment, yellow iron backhoes, bulldozers, uh, long distance, long haul trucks. We do restaurant equipment. We do retail equipment, do POS systems. We do hair salon equipment, uh, medical equipment, manufacturing equipment. So, so anything that you can imagine, you go into, walk into a business and you see a piece of equipment, 80% of all business owners finance some or all their equipment. So yeah. you walk into a store and, and they're not, most of the time they're not paying cash for this stuff. They're financing that equipment. So that's where we kind of bridge the gap and brokering allows a company that's coming to us and a vendor that's coming to us the um, more of a variety, right? We shop to get the customer the best rate. We shop to get the vendor the best rate. So it's not a one and done kind of, we, we don't have one option. We have multiple options. Kind of, we like to say the insurance of equipment financing. Right. We have yeah. a Denver hub platform, we call it, where we have over 50 lenders on it that you submit an application and we're able to get you the best possible um, offer that you qualify for as a business owner. Okay. Pretty cool. Because they like said most businesses finance because that stuff is expensive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Not many people going out there spending 150000 on a, you know, a new uh, 2020 Kenworth these days. Yeah, it happen? yeah. But, you know. Uh, and they're financing them. So we're yeah. financing those. Cool. Yep. So businesses, like saying businesses out there that maybe you need some capital for equipment. Here we go. I um, mean, definitely reach out for that. Um, now you were talking about SBA loans. Do you want to go a little bit into that? Cause I think that's pretty important right now too. Yeah. Right now I, you gotta, you gotta be very careful because there is the difference between SBA loan and an SBA disaster loan. So yep. Um, a lot of people kind of are getting into the mind frame of go, 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 but you got to take a step back. You still need all the stuff. You still need to have a correct package together. It's not just submitting an application and crossing your fingers. You still have to do the due diligence on your end to have a complete package ready to go and ready to be underwritten by the SBA. So it doesn't delay the process, you know, three, four, five months. Cause basically that's how long some of these take. It, I mean, they're saying right now, you know, three to four weeks with, yeah. we're going to start to hear new things on, on how this money is going to be accessed. But, um, you know, right now we're, we're really concentrating on helping one, our current customers that need the relief. So we're, we're working on walking them through, um, you know, case by case, how to fill out the application, what documents you need to fill out the application. Is your profit and loss ready? Do you have it up to date? Are your taxes filed? So, it's more of kind of a consultant approach on helping, you know, U.S. businesses through this kind of relief um, time that, you know, businesses need. I mean, it's it's something we didn't want to come to, but once it starts, it's something you have to you have to help with. And yeah. we're going to do our part in, in helping these business owners um, with the SBA process. So very important. Absolutely. Because. Like I said, I was in the military. Once the government's involved, things become complicated. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they like, I, I, I think it's because I did a mock SBA just so I know how to, um, you know, go through it because it's different. I mean, we, mm -hmm. we do, we don't do a ton of SBAs on, I say in the real, real world time. Like we, that wasn't our special specialty, but yeah. I, know how to do it. I, I know financials. I know how to, I know if you're, you know, on the surface level, if you have a shot, but there's things that are going to open up with SBA that, you know, you, you need to know and you need to put them in the right channels uh, to get that process going. But um, it's, it's just very important. And um, you know, it's, it's difficult to fill out an SBA application. There's some yeah. of the questions that are on there that you, you just may not know. Um, so, so we're going to help, help with that. And, you know, the process, they did dumb it down a little bit for the SBA disaster. I, I did go through um, a mock one and, you know, there's, there's just certain things that you need. There's a full three page application that you need to go over. There's um, uh, your profit and loss, your, your tax returns, your debts, your, your liabilities. So you have to have all that stuff right there. And, and most businesses, unfortunately, I, I hate to say it, but they don't have that stuff available at their beck and call right now like it's not right there some do but we're able to help 
uh, business owners, you know, get that together, at least guide them in the right directions to be able to get that together. Yeah. And I think that's always been what I've liked a lot about talking with you because people just don't realize that when you want to grow your business, you need money. So they reach out to banks or whoever to try to get it. Even private investors typically want to see some of that stuff. So like, Oh, we want your money. And I'm like, well, can you prove how much you make? So there's a lot going on there that people just don't know. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we're going from, we have, you know, our capital short-term program is application three months bank statements and we're funding off cash flow, right? Yeah. But what's not happening right now? <laughs> cash flow, right? Yeah. If these businesses, these restaurants that, that are going to need this relief, these beauty salons, these kind of mom and pop shops, these that have a real business and, and do real revenue, but they maybe weren't prepared for this certain scenario because let's face it, running, you know, how, how running a business isn't, isn't all what it's, you know, it's not all rainbows and butterflies. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's stressful. We're running tight margins most of the time. And um, it's, it's not, you know, we don't have crazy stockpile of money like these, these Amazon Googles and yeah. big, com- big companies that can, that can weather this, I say storm, I mean, they can't weather it for forever, but they, you know, it's, it's that stockpile of money that small business America may not have. And that's yeah. where this relief is going to help. Okay. So that brings up uh, another, I guess, another set of questions back to um, capital lending, which is what you guys have been doing, you know, since you started um, in this time, <laughs> cause you were talking about, you know, revenue is starting to dry up a little bit. Um, how does that look for, your normal programs. So then it goes back to the essential businesses, right? Mm -hmm. Like the companies that you see that are helping with this industry. I mean, not industry that are helping with this disaster, like, you know, transportation, that's going to be a huge industry that we need. I mean, truck driver, we always need truck drivers and that's our biggest market. We, we fund a ton of truck drivers. That's probably like 20, 25% of our business. Yeah. Um, but they're delivering to Walmart. They're delivering a market basket. Like they're, they're running this world right now. They're running yeah. this, this nation. And um, those are the companies that we're looking at, you know, manufacturing companies like cons- food consumables, like anyone mm-hmm. that manufactures food that is distributed. We're looking at, um, you know, the medical industry, um, you know, other manufacturing industries. Like you see a lot of these companies are, are building these defibrillators now, like yep. they need funding. They need funding and the government, we know the government doesn't fund quick. So no, it takes a while. We can bridge the gap. And then, you know, the essentially the construction workers that are still working. So there's still a large part of um, industries that, that we need, which we, we always, we need everyone in every industry, but there's industries stepping up that still need cash flow that we're really catering to right now. All right. Pretty cool. Awesome. So for anyone that wants to get a hold of you, reach out, ask you some questions about everything that's going on, how they get a hold of you. Yeah, you can give me a call. My direct line is 603-822-2382. Um, you can always email me at wmurphy at everlastingcapital.com or you can check us out on everlastingcapital.com. Um, and like I said, we're all hands on deck. We, I literally picked up my computer station and plucked it in my basement. So I haven't skipped a beat. We haven't skipped a beat. Um, and, and we're, you know, we're, we're making, we're making moves and we're, you know, is it going to be uh, a profitable time for everlasting capital? Probably not, but we're here to help businesses get through this situation. So we're there for them now. And when we get over this and that's, that's why we're here and that's what we're about. Awesome. Love it. So that's that. Cool. We, awesome. We, yeah, buddy. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been always been, uh, it's always a pleasure to talk. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, check out more on, you know, all the spaces we have, uh, podcasts, iTunes, or website, all that. And I'll see you all next time. Want more New Hampshire Business Show? Find us at iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and www.nhbusinessshow.com.